Are you a streamer, gamer, or content creator who needs quality audio? Well, then Audio Technica has the answer for you. The ATH M50X SDS USB Stream Set. The ATH M50X SDS USB Stream Set is the world's first professional headset designed for streamers and content creators. It should be noted that there are two different versions of this headset. Today, we are focusing on the USB version, which utilizes USB plugs, but there is an analog version, which is simply known as the ATH M50X STS. This version utilizes a 1 quarter, 1 8 jack, as well as an XLR input. The analog version is more suited to mixers and recording devices, while the USB version is a lot more suited to plug and play use. Although outside the differences noted between these headsets, the audio quality and build of these headsets remains identical. Now what's special about this headset is it combines the quality of the M50X headphones with the clarity of the 20 series microphones from Audio Technica, ensuring that not only are you recording quality audio, you're also hearing it. The microphone here is a cardioid condenser microphone, meaning you're capturing absolute clarity in your voice while helping to mute the noise around you. Now I did record some audio earlier on with this microphone, and what I did find is that the audio quality is consistent with the 20 series microphones from Audio Technica. Both have a bit depth of 24 bits, which is a fairly good range. It's not exactly 32 bits, so you probably shouldn't be yelling or screaming into this microphone as it will start the clip and cut your audio. All in all, 24 bits is a good vocal range. To give you a bit of reference, for most of my videos I use a lapel mic, which records at the same bit depth. And the sample rate ranges between 44 to 48 kilohertz, which is an industry standard for audio detail. Now, as you can see here, the microphone is an adjustable boom arm can adjust it like so with like no issue at all. It is coming from the side and it may look a little short, but as you'll soon see, there is good reasons for this design. A unique feature of this microphone is that when you adjust it up like this, but when I bring the microphone back down like this, it's back on. Let me go again. Been talking, 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 and now I'm going to go into mute. Now this is useful if say you're having a conversation with someone and don't necessarily want other people to hear that conversation, or you need to cough, or maybe you need to swear, like so. So yeah, you didn't even pick that up, YouTube didn't even pick that up, it's a great microphone. Now because the microphone is a little short and to the side, I don't necessarily have to worry about poking my eye out when I'm shifting into mute mode, no matter how far I adjust the microphone. See? Okay, maybe if I have the microphone like this, I'll poke myself in the eye, but realistically, you're gonna have it out here, not pressed right against your beard for obvious reasons. Now, some people might be a bit concerned that because you're not speaking directly into the microphone, it is gonna affect the quality. You can, of course, up the detail by moving the microphone more in front of your mouth, but the problem here is that you will pick up a great deal more of your breath and more sibilance. That's the emphasis of the S in the sounds. Whereas down here, sibilance, up here, sibilance. Now having the microphone down here and to the side does make your voice a little bit quieter, but it also hides a great deal of the sibilance, the wet noises in your mouth and your breathing. On the back of the microphone here, you also have a monitor circuitry dial. This dial on the back controls how much audio or if any audio that you hear from this microphone which is useful not only for recording audio, but also it's much easier to have a conversation with someone online when you can actually hear your voice back. As these headphones are tightly on, and if you turn this off completely, it might be a bit difficult to have a conversation when you can't hear the sound of your own voice. Now, one shortcoming of this headset might be this fin right here. This is the cable that's joined into the headset. It is built into the headset, which means you don't have to worry about accidentally yanking the cord and having it come out but it is another cable that you have to deal with. Fortunately though, it is a fairly reasonably long cable. So a bit of cable management, you can tuck this away safely and not have to worry about it getting in the way. Now this stream set also comes with two different pairs of ear pads, one air mesh and one lever. Now the lever ear pads are more ideal for a precise audio feedback. You'd wear these in the case of recording or audio mixing. They are a lot more closed up and you get more precise tonality in the audio when recording with them. Now these are leather ear pads, so consistent and heavy use of them may cause them to start to wrinkle and crack. 
but fortunately these are 97 mm ear pads so they can be easily swapped out with replacement pieces. Now right now I'm wearing the air mesh ear pads. These are a lot more suited to more humid conditions. Now air mesh is typically something you might find on the back of travel backpacks as it's a fabric that allows air to travel through. Now this is also the case with headsets as sometimes when you're wearing headsets for a long period of time, particularly if they're leather headsets, that closed off space can cause a great deal of heat buildup, causing you to actually sweat quite a bit. Now, if you're someone who has to wear a headset for a great deal of time or in a very hot environment, you might notice a great deal of heat buildup when wearing them. Now, fortunately, with the air mesh around here, it allows for a lot more breathability, meaning you're not getting as much heat built up around here, which means these are much more comfortable for long periods of time or more humid environments. Now, I'm just gonna check something here. Yep, nothing. I'm in an office with no air conditioning. These are drenched as hell, but this, dries a bone. Now swapping out these ear pads, like we've swapping out most ear pads, is a little finicky and it does take a minute to adjust it, but fortunately it's nothing different from what you've seen from other standard headsets. Now when it comes to audio feedback, your standard headset or headphones range from 44 to 48 kilohertz. This headset right here goes up to 96 kilohertz, meaning you have a lot more detail in the audio that you're listening to. The bit depth of this headset is about the same as the microphone that's recording into in that it's 24 bits, which is, as I noted earlier, a very good vocal range to have. Now when consider the audio quality feedback of these headphones with the audio quality recording of this microphone, you can be assured that whatever you're saying into the microphone is coming out exactly the same in your headphones. This means that if you are using this headset to record, you are getting a very accurate and instantaneous feedback. So now, who is this headset for? Well, as noted earlier in the video, this headset has been designed professionally for streamers and content creators, but that doesn't mean you can't use this to listen to quality music or game with your friends or even use it in say Zoom meetings. It is a quality headset, it's very sturdily built, it gives you very accurate feedback with this microphone which is very easily adjustable and it's incredibly comfortable to wear for long periods of time. This is a good all around headset in my personal opinion, although I would use it particularly if you plan on being a streamer or a content creator. But tell me, does this headset interest you? What would you use it for? And do you have any tips to others out there in how you should take care of your headset and get the best quality use out of them?